nice. Who are you? Oh, we're just uh, we're just videographers. Oh, right. Nashi Nathaniel out here in the city of San Luis Obispo, California. And right now, I'm going to be taking a look at Porsche of San Luis Obispo. We're going to make sure that our friends at Porsche here in SLO respect and honor my constitutionally protected right to record what I can see from a public space. Because if they don't, well, we might have to go Christine on them. <laughs> oh, we got some Porsches right there. I want to point out uh, something that a lot of people don't realize. A lot of people when they say, uh, well, when they talk about Porsches, they say Porsche. But that's actually the incorrect way to pronounce it. Not that I'm an expert on pronouncing things correctly. But uh, being a former Porsche owner myself, you know, I'm kind of nitpicky when it comes to that. So if you're talking about a Porsche, you don't want to say Porsche. You want to say Porsche. And believe me, Porsche owners will uh, point, you, point that out to you if given the opportunity. Uh, I don't see any Porsche owners yet, but I just got here. But I see uh, definitely see plenty of beautiful Porsches. Like that, uh, that beautiful, it looks like a 911 right there. Like I mentioned in past videos, I used to have a 912 that I was really proud of. I had a 1967 912. Uh, gone are those days, but yeah, I guess now uh, I can just, uh, instead of driving a Porsche, I can audit Porsches. I mean, that's almost as good. <laughs> yeah, right. But I'm going to stand out here. I'm on a public sidewalk. I am not on their property. And I'm going to film what I can see from the public sidewalk and hopefully uh, staff management and security at this Porsche dealership will respect my constitutionally protected right to record in public. Because if they don't, well, we might have to grab the paddle. <laughs> so this is uh, Porsche of San Luis Obispo, as I've already previously mentioned. Uh, this is part of the Cardinal Automotive Group, which is based out of Marina, California. And this used to be the old uh, BMW dealership for San Luis Obispo. I've actually audited the slow BMW dealership. Uh, they're not too far from here, uh, but this is where they used to be. But uh, it's not BMW anymore now. It's uh, it's Porsche, and uh, as you can tell, we got some beautiful Porsches here on display. Porsche has a long history. The company was founded in 1931 by Ferdinand Porsche, who was very instrumental in uh, creating the uh, coming up with the the Volkswagen Beetle, which would become one of the most widely recognizable cars in the world Volkswagen of course uh, well some of you may not realize this but it stands for uh, people's car but um, this is not a, a Volkswagen dealership we're looking at right now this is a Porsche dealership oh, we got Mr. Porsche coming out here and he's gonna come over here and ask me if I wanted to uh, join him for a margarita I don't know, maybe he's just going to move one of the cars. I'm guessing he's going to move one of the cars. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, maybe he's going to ask me if I want to go for a ride. Although, I, I prefer to go for a ride in one of the 911s. Not one of those. Uh, Alright, we got uh, Mr. Porsche again. Coming out here. He's checking out all the cars. He's, I don't know, maybe he's studying for his uh, driver's license exam. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's only got his permit right now and he's going to, you know, go and get his, uh, his license. And uh, the Porsche dealership here is kind enough to let him uh, drive the Porsches around the, around the lot. You know, get some practice. We got uh, Mr. Mr. Porsche there. He's parking cars, or maybe he's just like I mentioned earlier. Maybe he's uh, trying trying out for his uh, drive test or practicing for his drive test. There he is. Oh, he's bet you he's loving his job. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Driving all these shiny cars all day, just going back and forth and around the around the parking lot. He's got a he's got a really exciting job. Well, what he's doing is probably a lot more exciting than what I'm doing right now. You know, what I really should be doing is sucking back a margarita on the rocks. Well, maybe if I uh, wouldn't be doing this or, or sucking back too many margaritas, maybe I'd be driving a Porsche. <laughs> oh, I think we got the cam back. Oh, yeah, there's the phone. Oh, yeah, cam back, baby. Cam back. Well, this wouldn't be a car dealership audit without a, without a cam back. Huh? He didn't disappoint. I'll give him that. He's not stopping to ask me if I want to lift. Yeah, wishful thinking, Nathaniel. Oh, somebody coming out here driving a Porsche. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're not driving a Porsche. They're driving a Tesla. Oh, that's like sacrilegious at a place like this. Oh my God. What do they think they're doing? You can't come to a Porsche dealership and drive a Tesla. I don't know. I don't know what Elon Musk would think of that. What do you say, Elon? <laughs> and we got this uh, car that just pulled up. Oh, it's a BMW. I was thinking maybe it was a Scientology car. We got this lady there. She's sitting there on her phone. Can't quite tell. Looks like she could be cam backing. Maybe this is uh, Porsche security. Maybe she's, oh yeah, looks like, oh yeah, definitely see. Looks like a cam back. Yeah, she pulled up and she's just been sitting there for a while. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. Maybe she finds me attractive. Maybe she's like, who is that handsome guy all dressed in black filming uh, Porsches? Well, well, now I'm filming a, a BMW because that's what she's driving. Oh, well, she's coming my way. Maybe she's going to... Maybe she's going to ask me out for a drink or... I don't know. She's coming into Porsche. Maybe she's going to trade in that BMW for a... Nice, uh, shiny uh, Cayman. I don't know. Maybe she's here for happy hour. Maybe she's going to go into the bar and suck back a few martinis. She looks like a martini kind of gal. And we got a Porsche Boxer there. Oh, wow. All right. Well, it's, uh, it's hopping and a bopping here today and slow. Uh-oh, I'm spotted. Oh, there they are. Uh-oh, he's, uh, oh. Uh-oh, I'm spotted. Guess I'm in trouble now. Maybe that's Porsche security. Hi! What's up? How's it going? What are you doing? Doing some filming. Filming for what purpose? Huh? Filming for what purpose? I'm just filming the cars. Not the people? Huh? I'm filming wife, everything. My wife felt as though you may have been filming her. I may have been, yeah. Was that your intent? Well, not not particularly, no. But okay. You do know there are laws governing... No, there's no. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. Well, you haven't watched what the California legislature has passed over the last two years. I, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm sure you know what you're doing. Where, you when you might be a little more sensitive to when people are pulling in and your your car seems to be focusing on them individually. There is an there is an expectation of privacy. In the no, there's no reasonable expectation okay. of privacy. Yeah, in I'm public. a lawyer. We can debate the law. Okay, well, yeah. I, I'm just, well, if you're a lawyer, you should know the law. Then I do know the law. Okay. So, well, obviously you don't, because you're telling me that I can't record in public. No, I didn't say that. Huh? That would be an overstatement. Okay. But uh, all I'm all I'm saying is my wife was a little. Okay. Well, I'll take that so, into consideration, yeah, but it's probably, just a camera. It's not going to hurt anybody. Well, that's obviously that's not what a lot of people think. But at any right. rate, I just wanted to check with you and let you know that she was put off by it. Okay. You might take that into account. I have no re I, no reason to know why you would be filming these cars and like probably a, a reasonable purpose mm -hmm. on your part, but I just want to let you know. Okay. Okay. Thank All right, you. Have a good one. Okay. Hope you find the right Porsche. <laughs> I'm sorry? I hope you find the right Porsche. I'm selling a Porsche. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, he says he's a lawyer. 
but he's uh, trying to say that there is an expectation of privacy in public. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of law he's practicing. Maybe he's uh, practicing uh, pug law. Huh. I didn't mean to take a poke at uh, Pug Face Media. Sorry, Pug. <laughs> All right, well, we got the uh, Get Along gang out there. They're checking me out. I guess he's telling on me. I guess he's uh, he's letting Porsche security know that, oh, there's a guy out here who's uh, filming in public. Oh, I guess that's a, I don't know, is that a big crime in, in slow? I don't know. He claims he's a lawyer, but he definitely doesn't uh, know too much about the laws concerning uh, public photography. I guess uh, I guess he didn't tip, pay attention to that class in law school. Alrighty, here we go. We got a nice hey. There we go. We got a nice Porsche there. What's going on? How you doing? Just video or what? Yeah, just doing a video. I kind of got a fetish for Porsches. Yeah. So, when did it? Uh, when did the dealership open? Uh, a couple months ago now. A couple months now. Okay. Yeah. So it was, it was this year then. Yeah. Oh. Twenty twenty two. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish up and then. All right. Thank you for being professional. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. All right, folks. All right. Well, they're 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 being friendly and professional, and that's the way it should be, folks. You know, nobody should. There's no need to. To freak out and have a cow. So I'll give them a pass. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. I've been here for a bit, and if you stuck around for the whole thing, you saw what happened. I got approached by that guy who claims he's a lawyer. I mean, don't you just love it when people do that? They love to pull out the lawyer card. Like, what is what is it supposed to make me start shaking in my boots or something? Anyways, uh, Mr. Lawyer uh, obviously wasn't too educated about uh, public photography since he tried to claim that, oh, there's laws against this or some, some nonsense. I don't know. Once he knew that I wasn't backing down, then he, he backed down himself and went about his merry old way. Uh, if he would have just uh, went about his business, uh, he wouldn't be the star of this video. Either way, um, I'm going to say uh, fail for him. However, I'm going to give Porsche of San Luis Obispo an A-plus pass. They were friendly and professional. Got a little contact from that one uh, salesman who was driving out. I don't know, maybe he's going across the street to Costco to get him a couple uh, Costco dogs. Uh, either way, um, Porsche of San Luis Obispo gets an A-plus pass. So thanks, guys. Appreciate your professionalism. And yeah, yeah. Ooh, too many margaritas, huh? Anyways, thank you for your professionalism. Uh, I like it when uh, places like this do the right thing and respect my rights. Um, so I'm going to sign off. And until next time, may the audits or the Porsches be with you. That or the love bug. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>